Welcome back everyone, I'm Seth Roth, and today we are continuing our deep dive into the spells found in the Fenderix mod. Mm -hmm. This is another fun combination. There, We're going to be combining earth and poison spells today because in the Fenderix mod, those spells actually have some interesting synergy between the two of them. Uh, we're going to get into that at the end of the demonstration. First I'm going to show you guys the earth type spells and then the poison. So, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started. We've got our lovely assistant over here to be thrashed and walloped and beaten to a pulp. Uh, our first spell we're going to be testing is the Earth Sand Strike spell. This pummels a target for 37 points of health and stamina damage. Now, if you can't tell from the health and stamina damage, that kind of hints to you that the Earth spells are actually their base in Frost Magic. Um, what I mean to say by that is that if you are a Frost Mage in Skyrim and you're getting perks that boost Frost damage, uh, those perks will also apply to your Earth spells, which is why they have the little Frost insignia next to them. So just keep that in mind when you're building your Fenderic's character and trying to get the most buck for your bash. Now let's have a look at this Sand Strike and see what we're looking at. Oh. <laughs> huh. Well, you can very clearly see the status effect that comes with Earth-type spells in that you become dirty for 10 seconds. <laughs> Never would have thought of that as the status debuff that, that would be brought up in Skyrim is dirt. But okay. So that is our basic Sand Strike ability. Uh, you dirty the target, which interacts with spells in a couple of different ways here in Fenderix. Uh, we will get into that at the end of the video. Next on our list, as we're just going up in difficulty, we have the Adept Earth spell called Boulder. This spell does 52 points of damage to health and stamina, which is almost twice what we were getting out of Sand Strike. Okay. Well, there we go. That was a, a one-hit kill right there. The Boulder spell is no joke. But then again, that rock is the size of a person, and the speed that it's going, that does... Uh, I'm having no immersive issues trying to believe that that spell does that much damage. It's, it's a giant rock. I mean, what, what else are you going to do? Uh, next, let's go ahead and have a look at Quake. Blast a target with Earth Magic to do 30 damage to health and stamina. Also causes an explosion that does moderate damage to an area. So we're going to go all the way over here and test this from what I hope is a safe distance. Okay, is this a touch attack? Blast a target with earth magic. It is a touch attack. Interesting. Okay, so if it has an explosive effect to it, then that must mean that it also uh, is an area of effect. That's what I'm going to assume when it says causes an explosion that does moderate damage to an area. It's nice not being vulnerable to that kind of damage. Because remember, we were testing out those fire spells. <laughs> I almost killed myself with some of the, the prettier ones. Anyway, moving on. So next is Earth Avalanche. Causes rocks to fall from the sky and do 60 damage to the target's health and stamina. Okay, rocks from the sky. What's that going to look like? Oh. I wonder if it triggers the same animation if it doesn't hit a target. Nope, has to hit a target. Oh, there's the rocks. Okay, we just had to be closer. <laughs> if you're too far away, then the rocks don't uh, actually, uh, they're not visible. The, the, it doesn't, I mean, do the damage, but you didn't see the rocks happen unless you were nice and close. Wait, take earth explosion. Okay, well, that's nice that you can get rid of it. Uh, you did notice there, there wasn't any uh, clipping, so they don't stop your characters from moving, which, I mean, I guess you could say it was soft earth, like big chunks of mud, which would still do lots of damage. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't break your immersion too much. But I can totally see why the modder went that way, because can you imagine dropping boulders on bad guys and then just having all of these giant piles of stone in your way whenever you're trying to do something? It'd be very frustrating. Uh, that said, we're going to go next to Earth Sandstorm. Harness the power of sand to do sustained damage to a large area. Damaying <laughs> both health and stamina to all in the vicinity. So this is definitely an area of effect attack. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, that, okay. Uh, huge magic cost. But judging by the giant sandstorm that filled in, it hit 
everything. Wow, okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna kill this guy one more time. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna get all the way over here. Okay, so my goal was to spawn him on the other side of the room so I could see what the, the range on this was like. Yeah, I love this little platform that whoop, where you do the magic at. I know I could use like a Skyrim console command to do the same thing, but it feels very immersive to me to actually have a training room in which to practice, you know what I mean? And okay, so the range on this thing is no joke. And I do kind of like the effect of this sandstorm. I haven't seen many mods that bring in something like that. I mean, we do get mods that have like a blizzard effect, which is kind of cool synergy. I wonder if that's why the, the modder decided to make Earth frost type, because it does seem to use some of the same... I mean, blizzard does a similar thing where it blocks your view, but it's just white instead of brown. Okay, we have the last of the master level's spells. This is an Earth spell called Sand Burial. Viciously kill a target that has under 200 health remaining. Okay, so if it's all under less than 200 health, that's quite a low threshold. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> oh, he didn't. Oh, that's interesting. My churl didn't come back. So it's didn't count if you kill him he spawns back so it didn't the on the back end it didn't technically kill him it like deleted him <laughs> either that or just sent him straight back to oblivion i don't know but or maybe just he exploded and decided like i'm not coming back here <laughs> i have been through enough to satisfy your twisted desires crazy crazy person uh okay we're gonna keep boulder actually we'll keep sand strike because uh, eventually, I want to combine the earth and poison spells so we can see what they what they look like together. But next, we're going to be looking at spit. Why wouldn't we want to spit? Launch a poison launch a poisonous glob of spit at a target to do thirty damage. Also, causes causes the target to become poisoned for thirty seconds. All right. Well, let's get a look at the range here. Oh, oh, it's like the Chorus spit. So you've got to aim up. Wow, okay, interesting. So you have to aim above the target, kind of like when you're using a bow, but more so, because spit is heavier than, you know, arrows. Huh. It's like that, that old video game, Pocket Tanks, <laughs> where you've got two tanks on a, two, on a flat plane and they're shooting over a mountain to get each other. I don't know if that's gonna make any sense to those of you old arcade players out there. But yeah, that's a fun one. Okay, so that was our spit. That was our basic poison attack for Fenderix. Uh, next, we're going to try Bug Beam. Attack a foe with poison magic for 6 damage. That's a bit of a letdown after 30, but let's give it a shot. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. That hosing him down. Okay. And true to Fenderix, if you're using a hose him down type spell... It's going to do less damage than the spell it's based off of. So the Poisonous Spittle does more damage. Spit does more damage than Bug Beam, but Bug Beam is a continuous cast, so you could hit a whole crew, a whole group with it, technically. Uh, next, we're going to go for Spider Bite. Harness the power of a spider to bite to targets. Also causes the target to become poison for 30 seconds. I'm going to go out on limb and guess that this is a touch spell. Whoa! What? Seriously? Okay. So there is a pretty small hitbox on that. You've got to like run through the target to activate it. But I mean, damage wise, not bad. And it, it does definitely chew through your stamina. I love the webbing though. That's a cool effect. Wow, that, that was pretty cool. All right. Uh, so, okay. So if you want to do a spider themed playthrough, you definitely want to grab some of these spells because... Oh, I know, if you're doing a Plague Doctor build, I don't know if you've seen those on Reddit, but a Plague Doctor, like, it's, um, there are some perks in, in Ordinator that allow you to do damage based on how many diseases you have. It's a crazy build. I've seen it, but I've never tried it. But obviously, this would, these would be some good spells to throw in as well. Uh, let's see. Okay, Immobilizing Gas causes all in the vicinity of the gas to become paralyzed for three seconds. Also causes the target to become poisoned for 30 seconds. Okay, so is this just just paralysis? Oh. 
Yes, just paralysis. Okay. All right, interesting. So you would have to combine this with some other attack. But even just occasional spurts of paralysis to knock him down obviously does you some good. Interesting. Okay. That is a weird little graphic effect going on there. Looks like poison almost has an earth-like effect to it. That's interesting. Uh, our last one, our master spell for poison, is called Toxic Cloud. Blast several targets in an area with Toxic Poison Cloud that does 60 poison damage. Okay, is this concentration or just a cast? Just cast. Oh, well, okay, that did hurt me. Okay, so it has the same kind of trajectory that we saw from the spit attack, but when it hits, it explodes. So it's still good for hit area of effect. Just don't get too close, or you will get poisoned, too. You have been warned. All right, so that brings us to the interactions between poison magic and earth magic. So first off, a word of caution. If you're using these poison spells, like Bug Beam, you're going to have to be really careful if you're using... I don't think I've already... Yeah, I haven't showed it yet. There's a thing called blood magic, which is nuts. Uh, lots of damage, but you also hurt yourself. If you mix blood magic with poison magic, you'll actually hurt yourself more because you already have like open wounds that get affected by the poison. So don't don't mix poison magic with blood magic. Just 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 don't. So as you can see, poison magic. Well, actually, the icon's a little wrong. It scales off of your uh, shock damage. So if you are doing a destruction mage and you get perks in the shock spells. Uh, poison also shares that, will level up, will take advantage of those perks. That's just the way that the modder uh, wired the spells in the background. All right, lastly, we're going to combine Sand Strike with Bug Beam. And this is where the synergy between the two spells should really show up. Because when you combine a poison effect with Earth, the idea is that you cake the poison in onto the wounds and it amplifies the damage. But first, I've got to call back our little friend. I'm sure he's just so excited to be volunteering with us today. Then again, I don't know what Olivian is like, given that it seems like a hellscape. Maybe he just considers this to be a nice reprieve. Whoa, that was a big difference. Okay, so yeah, combining poison and earth is no joke. That is so cool. I love that the modder thought to bring us more connections between all of these spells, like they interact with each other and cancel each other out or amplify each other, so you have to kind of, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can find some other combinations outside of just fire or just lightning that can do you some good. All right, thank you for joining me on this demonstration of both earth and poison type spells. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Fenderic spell so far has been. Uh, feel free to like my video and subscribe to my channel. I think my favorite spell out of this, I really liked Sandstorm. I don't know why. It just has that... I feel like with Master Spells, you want that sense of complete arcane power, and that is pretty arcanely powerful. You gotta, you gotta say, that's, that's hard to beat right there. I don't know if the modder went as far as to also give you a stealth advantage when everything is blinded, but it still is a cool effect, and you gotta love it. Hard to argue with that. Alright, so with that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys later at another video. Take care. Bye.